so hello friends welcome back to our channel exam buddy now let's do our assignment cyber security and privacy week fifth assignment fifth so the first question is which of the following statement is not true so these are the option and the answer of our first question is c policies are more detailed than the standard and describe the step that must be taken to con conform to standards now the second question is this is an organizational policy that provides detailed targeted guidance to instruct all member of the organization in the use of our resource such as one of its processes or technology so these are the option system specific security policy issue specific security policy enterprise information security policy general or security program policy so the answer of our second question is b issue specific security policy now the third question is which of the following is not a component of a enterprise enterprise information security policy so these are the option the statement of purpose information security responsibilities and role reference to other other information standards and guidelines statement of policy so the answer of our third question is d statement of policy now the fourth question is con does contain the specification of authorization that govern the high rights and privilege of users to a particular information assets so these are the option access control list capability stable configurational rule authentication protocol so the answer for our fourth question is a access control list now the fifth question is access control matrix combine the information in so these are the option and the answer of our fifth question is a access control list acl and capability stable now the sixth question is which of the following best dif differentiates cyber hygiene from cyber security so these are the option and the answer of our sixth question is c cyber hygiene involves routine practices for maintaining digital health whereas cyber security include broader strategies technologies and incident response now the seventh question is true or false configuration rules govern how a security system reacts to the data it receives so these are the option true and false so the answer of our seventh question is a true now the eighth question is which of the following is not true about system specific security policies so these are the option and the answer of our eighth question is d sys spa system secure policies can be developed at the same time as issue specific policies or they can be prepared after they are related so now the ninth question is which of the following are the basic rule that should be followed when sh shaping a policy now so these are the option never conflict with law properly supported and administered involved and user of information system all of the above so the answer of our ninth question is all the above now the tenth question is the statement use a strong password frequently changed is an example of so these are the option practice standard guideline policy so the answer of our tenth question is standard now thus now submit your answer thank you friends for watching this video